just gotta get my voice down because the family's sleeping right now and I don't want to wake them up. But the things that we do to go fish, right? Three o'clock in the morning, I got a two hour trip out. So I'm hoping to get out there like at, that, at about five, maybe a little after five just to kind of beat the crowd. But typically this spot gets pretty, uh, pretty, pretty pressured. So I'm not going to be the only one out. I might be even late to be quite honest with you. Hopefully Green Bay is going to cooperate with me, but we're going to see how it goes. Stay tuned. First fish in the morning. It's a dandy. It's a nice fish. First fish in the morning came off of the, the slider rig. this fish out. Going into this trip this time, um, I've, I've definitely learned uh, quite a bit from the last trip. So when I'm marking a fish now, um, all I'm basically doing now is I'm just watching my raw tip. And basically I'm, I'm giving it uh, a few quick uh, sharp jerks just to kind of cause some commotion so the fish can come in and and check out my my setup and once I mark that fish all I'm doing is I'm just holding my rod really still and I'm just watching that rod tip uh, for that very subtle bite I, I do have my dead stick next to me here too so if they don't hit this one then I'm hoping that they'll go over and hit that that dead stick and I do have my iFish Pro set up um i want to say about 30 to 40 yards out that way and i'm just trying to cover ground so i'm covering uh, this area here um, i'm sitting in about 16 feet and it's probably going to drop off to about like 20 feet or so going out that way i think i'm going to head out to deeper water i haven't really marked a whole lot since my first fish that was probably about 20 minutes ago. The shallow bite has died down. I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna head out to deeper water. time I'm hunkered down in 33 feet of water I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna move anymore but I'm getting hungry better cheddar go one or two of these up here looks like I'm gonna have to go anchor my fort down Get myself anchored up before I lose everything here. Oh my gosh! That one hit so damn hard. Oh my gosh. What the heck? There we go. 
I've had so many fish break off today and I just upsized my line because I was not going to have it. And this guy came up and hit multiple times. Now I just gotta land this sucker. Here we go. This guy was super aggressive. Came up and hit that clown jig and wrap multiple times, three times. And I missed, missed it several times, but not that time around. Pliers, get that out. And we got fish down there already. Hopefully this is that window. This spot is not terrible. I mean, I'm, at least I'm marking fish. They're, they're still very tight lipped, but it's always nice to be able to see fish. Ooh, I thought I felt it bump it. Let's see if he comes back. Come on. Oh, they're just tapping at it. Trying to get this fish to kind of chase it. He's still all over it. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, that wind is really... There we go. There we go. He hit that super light. There we go. Off of the jig and wrap. Man, this guy... He played around with it for a long, long time. I think I might have figured something out. Let's see if we can get another one to chase it up like that. See, there's just, now there's just fish everywhere. I just gotta, I just need them to hit. Come on. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Man, that. <sighs> Slider rig. That guy came off of the, the slider rig. Man, that, that window really opened up and it's been non-stop so i got fish down there i'm gonna get back down there real quick there we go like that it's on fire now that one came off of the slider man this window has really opened up i mean it went we went for what is it hours with with nothing Smaller guy, but on the slider. Smaller fish, but this window opened up. We gotta take advantage of it. We gotta get back down. Gotta, gotta fish fast. Drop my remote in the water. Like I said, it took me pretty much all morning to catch my first three fish. And just like that, within a 10 minute window, um, I was able to catch three more. I mean, like I saw them on the, on the graph and they were just like flying up off the bottom and hitting it. And right now, there's absolutely nothing. So that pot of fish that came through, um, it's a good thing that I was able to fish fast, and fish efficiently and catch those biters really quick. And I got one coming up now. Let's see if we can get this. Come on.
Come on, bite it. There we go. Another one. Holy cow, I think this is my biggest one. came right off this guy came off and bit the uh the clown chicken wrap and he came right off at the hole let's get back down let's fish fast still got my bait on there let's go back down let's catch them before they leave come on whack it That slider. There we go. He just came right up and just touched it ever so lightly. Oh. Oh, what? What the heck? Fish number eight. We had to play cat and mouse. I was just basically toying with it, raising it, dropping it, raising it, and he couldn't take it anymore and took the bait. All right, fish number eight. Two more to go. Think we can do this. I think we can do this. There we go. Oh, lost them. Lost them. I never got a good set on him. Coming back. Coming back. There we go. That one I felt. No, oh, no. A decent sized fish. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. Right here, off the clown jig and wrap. I got one more to go. And then I got my limit. Back down. Let's go get number 10. Number 10 is waiting for me right now. This is fish. Fish number 10. We are done. This is fish number 10. Nice chunky guy. The slider rig doing damage today. That is fish number 10. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits today. Got my 10 fish limit. Uh, this morning definitely was a struggle to say the least. Uh, it was a grind. Um, marked a few fish, but I just couldn't figure out how to get these fish to bite. And I was only able to get three for a few hours in the morning, but early afternoon, the bite definitely picked up and I was able to capitalize on that moment and uh, was able to get my 10 fish limit. So getting off the ice, this is probably gonna be it. Last trip up here. So can't wait to get home, get these fish cleaned up, get them ready 
for the smoker and they're gonna be mighty tasty. So if you like what you saw, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.